60 Minutes has been on for 53 consecutive seasons, starting in 1968, created by Don Hewitt and Bill Leonard. And right from the beginning, the star of the show was Mike Wallace. He'd started on radio, and he was born with TV as a career. He was right in on it from the ground floor. He had his own interview show in the 1950s. Here's a photo of him as a young boy. He was a really hard worker, uh, worked long hours. His job was his life. Here he is with Dick Nixon. He interviewed mafia people and went after corrupt politicians and businessmen with secret hidden cameras, and everybody feared him because of that. Here he is on set. He did the hard-hitting stories that a lot of other journalists wouldn't do. And perhaps even Ayatollah Khomeini feared him when he flew to Iran to interview the Ayatollah. He was a longtime friend of Nancy Reagan since they were both very young, and here he is interviewing her. Barbara Streisand was worried about the interview, but she agreed to it. And he suffered from depression um, most of his life since 1960s when his son died in a tragic accident. And he had dementia and maybe Alzheimer's the last few years of his life. Died in 2012 at age 93. Harry Reisner was his sidekick. Um, they started the show together. Harry was an old school journalist. He kind of mumbled. I think he was ashamed of his teeth. He never showed his teeth that I could see. He smoked three packs a day and drank a lot. That might be the reason. But he always wanted to be anchorman. And Cronkite was the anchor. So he went to ABC News for a while and they came back. This is a picture after he came back. But at ABC News, he was anchor with Barbara Walters. And that was not easy for him. And that's why he left and came back to 60 Minutes. But all the smoking caught up with him. He had two lung cancer operations. They removed a lung and he died right after that. Morty Safer was the safer of the people on the, the trio of the three. He had the softer stories. And most of them involved one-on-one -on -one interviews with celebrities um, with soft questions. And he just, he got you uh, in touch with people you were interested in, like Betty Ford. And everybody loved Morley. He loved his job. His job was his life, just like Mike. That was Jackie Gleason. Here's Jack Lemon. Here he is with Katherine Hepburn. So he would interview most interesting celebrities all over the place. And uh, Bernie Madoff's wife was no exception. Meryl Streep. He got the interviews others couldn't get, just like Mike did. Um, Al Gore. They kind of competed, but I liked him the very most. He died only eight days after he retired of pneumonia in 2016. And he will be missed. I added Bob Simon, who was not on the show that many years. He was an international correspondent for CBS and went from... Vietnam in the early days, all over the world. Uh, he focused on Israel and the Middle East. And everyone thought he would die in a war zone. But instead, he died in a car accident after he came home from an assignment. The CBS town car picked him up in Manhattan. The driver got in an accident, and he died shortly afterwards. Here's a photo of it. He was 73. This was in 2015. Andy Rooney was at the end of the show with some lighthearted, funny commentary on all sorts of things about typewriters or chairs. Have you ever noticed that ice plants don't even have ice on them? That kind of thing. Here he was in World War II when he began. He knew Walter Cronkite very well. They were friends, and he was very close friends with Harry Reasoner, who he met when he was 40. Um, Andy was a curmudgeon, kind of grumpy, what you saw was what you got. He worked until he couldn't um, into his 80s, and he died at age 92 in 2011. Ed Bradley was the cool guy and did stories that others just wouldn't think of, like jazz and um, interviewing um, Ella Fitzgerald or Aretha Franklin and all sorts of interesting uh, cool people like him. He started as a DJ. And what you see is what you get with Ed also. He died young of leukemia in New York at age 65 in 2006. Here he is with Jimmy Carter. 
And here is a photo I really like of him. He had a little earring. Um, we all miss Ed Bradley. Besides that, those that have left us, Bill Hewitt died in 2009 at age 86 of pancreatic cancer. And here's some team photos I thought you'd like. Here they are interviewing Bill Clinton. Here's when Harry came back and Ed was now part of the team. Diane Sawyer was involved with 60 Minutes for a while until she went to ABC News and became an anchor lady. There's Dan Rather, and there's Don Hewitt in the right corner. Some trivia. Harry's father died falling off a cliff right in front of Harry when he was young. And later on, after he died, his daughter jumped off a parking garage, committed suicide at age 60. Peter Wallace, Mike Wallace's son, fell off a cliff in Greece in 1964. And... His other sibling was Mike Wallace's son, Chris Wallace, who's an anchorman at Fox News now. There you have it. Appreciate you watching. Please give me a like.